and Justin, I just want to say thank you for being a partner during this summit. Uh, take it away. And then right after that, we're going to hear from Will and, and, and the folks at Gusto. Awesome. Thanks. I'm going to share my screen here and we will get rocking. All right. So as David said, my name is Justin Pulgrano. I am also the VP of sales and partner success at Finograph, the makers of Cashflow Tool. Cashflow Tool is an app that integrates with both QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. The tool helps accounting professionals build and easily maintain cash flow forecasts so their clients can manage and plan effectively. As you guys all know, you just heard Andrew talk through a lot of this stuff too. Cash flow is critical to business success, and right now it's such a hot topic for the state of where business and the economy is due to COVID-19. So we're going to run through a really quick demo for you guys today to highlight a few features that you can use to help your clients both now when they should be super focused on cash flow and beyond the crisis when things get back to more business as usual. You also see my email down here. If you have a question, you can shoot that to me. I know that also you can use the Q&A functions and stuff in Zoom. Okay, let me pop over here to cash flow tool quickly. Okay, so the most important or most powerful features of cash flow tool are here in the cash flow detail section. I'm just going to go through just a subset of these features just for the sake of time. But once you sync with QuickBooks, either QuickBooks online or QuickBooks desktop, the tool will automatically pull in 12 months of historical cash impacting transactions, plus produce a six month forecast for you as a starting point. Cash in impacting transaction is anything that increases or decreases the cash balance. That's income statement or balance sheet items. The forecasts I mentioned populated for you immediately, auto filling recurring items like payroll, rent, utilities, uh, elements of AR and AP are also in there as well. If your client uses those modules in QuickBooks. The green bars in this chart are cash in, orange bars are cash out, blue line represents how your cash balance is trending over time. This is a great visual representation of your client's cash flow data. And you have plenty of details below that detailed transaction level information of inflows and outflows, both in this historical period and then working into the forecast. We're gonna go through a couple examples of how you can actually use this with your client. So let's say we wanna review just the last four weeks of cash flow from an actuals perspective and also look at the next four weeks. We're managing things week to week at this point in time. I'm also gonna filter off the cash in, so we're just focused on the cash outside. Now what I'm looking at here is the transactions below, both from a historical perspective and also a forecast perspective down here. All of the individual items that you can work with and you can talk to your client about both in the forecast and in the historical, and you can edit these in any way that you want. I'm actually gonna push out this payment another month. You can see how that will affect the forecast. And I'm also going to take down some of these payments. I'm going to exclude them as well. This is a really interactive way to see how your cash flow is performing. Again, here we're just focused on the outflow side. You could do the same thing on inflows. Really easy to flip back and forth uh, along the way here. You can even jump into a specific customer or a specific vendor and work through different rules on how to work with those items in the forecast. Uh, we talked a little bit, or I mentioned about that you can add your own items, how that becomes into play, or an example how that comes into play. You can really easily add in, for example, PPP loan. Let's assume that that's going to come in in the month of May. You can see how that's going to affect your cash flow moving forward. We were just able to take down um, or last, make our cash last a little bit longer. You could see that it was dipping negative before. Because this chart is so flexible and interactive, you can cover virtually any scenario that you'd want to run with your clients. You can even do a worst case scenario of turning off all the inflows and seeing how long your cash can last. Uh, as Summit CPA mentioned before, they're doing this weekly with their clients going through these cash flow meetings and they do the reporting in a number of different ways. And a lot of folks, uh, you have a couple different options that you can use. You can either give your clients edit or view access to different components of the tool. You can also hop on a Zoom and go through this in an interactive basis. That makes the decision-making process a lot easier because it is uh, interactive and you can see, see the effects of the decisions that you're making. The third is actually the reporting section. So you can export all of the historical data and also the forecast data into a fully formatted Excel spreadsheet that has everything in AR, everything in AP, everything that's included in your forecast or in that historical period. 
and it's formatted, it's got formulas, um, it's ready to rock for client presentation and it makes it really flexible for you to work with your clients. With all these features, you'll be able to not only help your clients navigate uh, the current cash flow situation, but also use this as a scalable service offering that you can provide on an ongoing basis once we are past COVID-19 and back to more of a business as usual scenario. How, was that? How am I doing on time, David? <laughs> I think that was around five. Yeah, you're all set. And look, I know people are asking questions about the cash flow app. Justin, that was perfect. And if you have questions, we're going to put it up in the redemption page, but you can learn more cashflowtool.com slash cloud summit. Um, you know what? I don't know. What's your favorite color, Justin? Pink, purple, blue, orange. I don't know. I have them all. Let's go with. I'm blue. You're Although blue? I don't, have, I don't have blue glasses. So I'm That's like me. You. All right. Well, <laughs> if I ever, if we ever meet up in person, I'll give you a pair. So, hey, Justin, awesome. thanks so much.